Okay, so I pulled the baby coon out and it was actually really, really frozen. I should have pulled him out sooner, but I didn't know where to stick him, where the dogs wouldn't find him, or the flies. Because even though I'm going to put maggots on him, I don't want real maggots on him. So I put him in the microwave. Don't tell Eric. Well, we have two kitty kitties out. Little Joe and Sassy. Oh, and so many purrs. And your brother's in the house, isn't he? But where is Tut? So the last couple mornings when I've come out to feed the animals, I've noticed a little bit of disarray in the barn. The cat food bin, the lid was off yesterday. And I always put the lid back on because I don't want the cats just diving in there. But not only that, everything in the area was just kind of scattered around. Did you just hear that? It's like a big tree back there just crashed down. And it's not even breezy. Hmm. Maybe that's where my cat's at. Anyway, there's two options. One option is there's wild cats coming in and fighting with my cats and throwing food everywhere, but I don't think they could get that bin open. And option two is a raccoon pulling the bin open or maybe a bear? I can't be right. So my doors are always open um, to let the cats in and out and just to let the breeze in. Actually, that door should have been open last night, but we had rain anyway, so. So, realistically, any animal could come in. The cat food is on the top of the hayloft, and the cats know how to climb the ladder to get up there. The idea is that wandering cats won't figure it out. Raccoons, possums, probably won't figure it out too well. The other option is, maybe there's a homeless guy running around eating cat food, and he just got hungry. I don't know. I went in there last night and I put a live trap in there and I baited it with not cat food because I'm not trying to catch a cat. I baited it with dog food and a little bit of chicken food thinking that if it is in fact a raccoon or a possum they would probably go for that. So judging by the fact that I have at least three of the four barn cats wandering about I don't think I got any cat in it but we better go check and I'm really curious what do you think I have on the trap I haven't checked it what do you think's in it could be nothing and yeah so put it down below let's see what's in that trap okay so our resident visiting cat did not get caught in the trap hi Mr. Kitty Kitty are you being good you being good yeah. Let's go see what we have over here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I don't hear anything. I haven't heard dogs barking, so. My guess is there's nothing in the trap. Oh, I hate being so disappointed when you look in there and then it's like, dun, dun, dun. Nothing. Okay, here we go. It's shut. The trap is shut. I don't think you can see it. See, it's closed. You think there's anything in it? I can't see anything yet. I can't see anything yet. All right. So let's see what we have. See, this is what I'm talking about. See, everything's just kind of like kicked around. Like, oh, I see a big old goon. It's a big old coon. Hey there, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sorry that you are not allowed in the barn. So excited, so excited. It's like Christmas in the barn in July. Uh oh.
but it sounds like there's more than one in the barn. Look at Sassy. Uh-oh. What's back there? There's something else here, guys. Look at Sassy. Everybody's on edge. Do you think I should look back there? It sounds like it's on the other side of the barn. And there's no law right there. But maybe it's stuck. Maybe it fell off the loft. And it's back there trying to get up. There's another one. There's another one. Do you see it? It's a baby. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, so baby coon, mama coon. Um, hey, little buddy. Hey. Well, as much as I hate to say it, I do think I have a small trap somewhere. I've never even used it. Hey, little guy. And, uh, I mean, I feel bad for them, I do. But the problem is, um, these are wild animals that are in my barn and putting my cats at risk. Now, I know you can say, whoa, it's just a dumb barn cat. My cats do a good job out here keeping the mice population down. They serve a purpose, plus they're all friendly. So it's no different than your faithful barn dog. And uh, the added benefit is the cats don't go around eating any of the farm animals. So these guys kind of hold the top tier out here on the farm. And I don't want to risk these guys getting sick, getting bitten by anything. And I certainly don't want them getting their food eaten. Or, I think they pretty much ate that entire bucket right there. This was the one they pulled the lid off from. But, if cats can climb ladders, so can coons. So, um, we need to locate my other trap. Do I want raccoons in my barn? No. Especially if they're going to run off with my favorite leather gloves. Oh, there's the other one. You're a naughty raccoon. Naughty mommy raccoon. Yes. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to have you in here making the same mistake again. So we'll wait and see. I'll come back later and see if baby raccoons made it into the trap yet. Um, I'm not sure how hungry it is. I mean, it could have cleaned the whole cat food out. Obviously, obviously, there's no cat food up there, judging by the cats sitting up there waiting for me. And this has been cleaned out. I just bought cat food the other day and they like totally ate the majority of the cat food. So, yeah. It's already heating up quite a lot in the barn. I try to keep these doors open in the evening to let the cool air blow in. And then early morning this time of day, I go through and shut these because this is where the hot sun comes in. If I keep the door shut all the time, it gets like 150 degrees in this barn and it does not cool down at night. So I don't want it being hot in the barn. I want the breeze. So yeah. Sass, he's uh, not sure on this deal. I, I guess Mrs. Raccoon's a little grumpy at being in here all day. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't blame her. I, I really don't. Here or something. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, so I'm trying to figure out the best way of doing this. I need a very large 
bucket. And for the record, this was based off many suggestions in previous videos. So I know a lot of you guys are already asking, why does Mrs. Coon need a bucket? Well, when you have guests over for dinner, usually you try to make sure they're presentable and clean. So Mrs. Coon is gonna be getting a little bath. Don't tell Eric she's coming to dinner. Might take a little while. You really thought I was joking when I said you gotta be clean for dinner. She's just kinda chilling right now. All right, so Bob wanna come out and check the trap with me. We got coon number one in the freezer, right? <sighs> okay. All right, so wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna let Bub, here, we're gonna come over here. Just like, just like the other day. All right, so that he can't see. Now I already see that the trap is, is the trap open or shut? Shut. What do you think that means? Possum. Possum in there? Well, what if it's a possum? Are we gonna eat the possum? Yeah. <laughs> because I saw it in there. Ow! Stassi! <laughs> you are naughty lately. <laughs> The cat's got like razor claws. How come you're not out here catching these things, man? <laughs> man. I know, I love you too, Sassy. Okay, so let's go check and see. Whoa, we got stuff kicked around again. All over the place. And the cat's up there like, all right, my food is gone, mom. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, it's the little baby Cooney. Little baby Cooney in the trap. Little baby Cooney, he came back. He's gonna be a little snack for Eric, but he's not looking. Yeah. <laughs> you think we should feed him to Dad? You think we should turn him into jerky and not say anything? Just tell him it's cow meat. Okay. So I have actually been looking up recipes, no kidding, you can find a million different ways to cook raccoon. And uh, one of the things they mentioned was young raccoons are best barbecued, like on a grill with barbecue sauce. And I am not joking, <laughs> this looked like a cross between pulled pork and chicken. It looked so good, it was like a maple barbecue sauce they put on it, oh yum. We have a little critter, and unfortunately... Little critter cannot um, stick stay. around. Why can't he stay? Because it's going to be eaten. Well, why do, why do we have to eat him, Bob? Can we just let him live in the barn? All right, so a little history here, guys. Growing up as a child, my parents cooked a wide variety of foods. They didn't cook a lot of wild game. My dad was not a hunter, he wasn't into any of that stuff, but he loved cooking. Um, as a child growing up, I had to try it. Not everything looked good and not everything tasted good. They got to the point where they would tell me that everything was chicken just so I'd eat it. And this is actually gonna be short ribs from Ginger. So, I've never cooked raccoon before. I did find recipes online. So we have Mrs. Raccoon on the cutting board. Okay, so step one is I'm actually gonna put my hair back because I don't want, <laughs> I just washed it this morning so I really don't want it blowing into the raccoon because the raccoon doesn't smell the prettiest. The raccoon is still slightly frozen. I did pull it out um, last night and I put it loosely in a cooler. All right, so for the majority of this, I'm gonna be pointing the camera down. All right, so there are um, scent glands all over the raccoon, and this raccoon is really frozen. So hopefully I can get this broken out. Um, pretty much what I'm gonna start doing is just taking the fat off. Down, doggy. Um, there's scent glands all over. Um, pretty much where the fat is, I think there's one down in here, and one down in here. Um, 
just up in the different groin areas. The dog is like freaking out over the smell of this. So, you wanna cut those out, just like a deer. And I gotta be fast before Eric gets home because if he sees me butchering this thing out, he probably won't eat anything for the rest of the week. <laughs> He's wise to my games. Um, they did say, on, uh, I think it was the Bearded Woodsman. He did a video on raccoon, and uh, there was a lot of like ropey tendons, and uh, so don't confuse that with like tapeworms. That's just how it is. All right, so right here we have um, this is what's left of the spine. This is the neck and chest area. The neck. Here's the backbone. Uh, we've got the um, back meat right here and then this is the hip meat. So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, slow cook all of this and see what we can scavenge off from it. So uh, I've taken off the ribs and everything else that's just gonna go in the pot. And then uh, the rest of it here we've got our legs. I mean look at all the meat on that. It really surprised me how much meat was on this. Um, I did cut away the rib meat so there's the rib meat right there. So um, all in all there's a lot more raccoon meat here than I was gonna guess. And I don't, I don't know how heavy she was, maybe 10 pounds. Um, so this is what's left. We just have some ribs and all of the fat stuff that I pulled off. Okay, so Eric's actually already on to my little scheme. <laughs> it's so funny because like a couple months ago, he was all like, oh, we should totally do a What Will Eric Eat Wednesday video series and you should just surprise me with random food. And I'm like, you're not gonna eat that. You complain every time I try to do this. He's like, no, 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 really. I'll, I'll be more open to eating stuff this time. Well, but let me tell you that uh, that is not the case. <laughs> uh, but I didn't have time to wash the cutting board. So it was in the sink and Eric saw it. He started freaking out he's like, you better not be cutting up that raccoon. For real, seriously, I'm so serious. You better not be cooking up that raccoon. <laughs> oh, it's just so good. So that got me going. I'm like, hmm, I should put the dead raccoon on the table. <gasps> I got the perfect idea. Eric doesn't know I've got two raccoons. And uh, then to convince Eric that I'm actually cooking up what I say I'm going to cook up. Well, let me show you. Um, I'm actually going to throw in some of these. Ooh, these are some meaty guys. Look at that. These are short ribs. Maybe I can find something that's a little bit smaller. That's, that's a pretty big size pack. Of course, this one's pretty good size too. So these are um, short ribs. And what I'm gonna do with these is uh, I'm just gonna throw them in the pot as is. So these guys are gonna get cooked identical to the raccoon. Um, so we'll kind of use it as a flavor comparison, plus they'll add a little bit more fat into the whole mixture anyway. Um, while the recipe won't be true to point as far as cooking raccoon, um, it will save my butt in the event that Eric does not like it. Cause then I can simply point out that, well, it cooked you short ribs. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put one of these on his plate um, and then put some raccoon on his plate. So he will in effect be eating both. I'm gonna leave this packaging on the counter so when he walks by he'll see it. He should have no idea that he's eating raccoon. We put it in here, my battery's running out. I'm gonna take this pot, well I'm gonna put the meat back in the freezer. This pot's coming in the house. I have to quickly debone all of the raccoon because Eric is kind of getting wise to my plan. So the less he can see, the better. All right, so I got it all done. Um, the spine is gonna be a lot like doing the spine on a deer, um, except in much tinier form. Uh, you've got a lot of meat in the hips, so you grab that and just kind of flay it on down, just like a fish, like you would kind of flay the meat off a fish. Um, so not too bad. Uh, we have the short ribs in here. Let's see how chunky those guys are. And we're gonna have like a ton of meat from this. And then here, I just wanted to show you real quick the quality of the rear leg meat. I mean, this looks nice. You can already tell it's getting soft and tender. Um, it feels great. I mean, that's 
See how soft and squishy that is? But here's some of the fat I pulled off the beef short ribs. Hey, Look at that. I mean, this is like mom. thick. Grass-fed cow had this much fat on the short ribs. Mom. So those are in there too. All right, so I've put the whole thing together. Uh, it's right here. It looks nice and bright. And uh, in here, I've got sweet onions, the sweet white onions underneath. And then I've got uh, some green cabbage chunks. I've got some sweet potatoes, which is um, a typical item you see with this meat. Okay, so this is really smelling good. Hmm, interesting. Time is running out. I don't know if I have time to pull this off tonight. I don't know how this is gonna end. I really, really don't. Okay, so I pulled the baby coon out and it was actually really, really frozen. I should have pulled them out sooner, but I didn't know where to stick them, where the dogs wouldn't find them, or the flies. Because even though I'm gonna put maggots on him, I don't want real maggots on him. So I put him in the microwave. Don't tell Eric. Okay, here we have it. I've decided to just pull it. Um, the vegetables are still a little tough. So that tells me that definitely bad idea cooking at 150 on the grill. Should have been in the oven at 250 for I don't know, probably four to six hours. If you use a Dutch oven, a cast iron like this. Um, I'll put a link for one, um, probably the same brand if I can find it on Amazon. If you guys are interested and you don't have a Dutch oven. Um, so consensus is the raccoon is actually very good. I see your camera. You don't. I see both of your cameras. You gonna try it? It's in the party. Well, I think those bones are too big for raccoons, so I'll try it. I'm thinking some of this must be raccoon or something. You're like pulling a trick. Dude, that's not even funny. Seriously. Well, I, you know how I said, uh, I said you didn't want Mr. Raccoon coming to dinner? Well, what'd you do? Mix them in with the beef? I actually decided to invite him to dinner. It's frozen. We have a raccoon for dinner. He's right here. Although I think I left him outside a little too long. I don't even want to eat my meat now because I don't even know what it is. <laughs> At least I didn't stick it in bed with you. <laughs> my face. idea so you like you did not like the short ribs especially this stuff with the bone the, in it the bone the raccoon mixed in with there was better than the short rib I don't know if there was or wasn't I think that's the baby maybe I fed you skunk yeah you could God knows what you'd put in there, I don't know. But so how do you feel about raccoon? You liked raccoon better than short ribs? Yeah, short ribs are nasty. So you said you never eat raccoon, but you did? I don't know, it could have been. <laughs> it probably was. Be sure to like and subscribe, and share the video if you thought it was cute. Like.